Huh. Wonder what happens when I mix this carrot and this bottle of mayo. No, you stupid potatoes! Don't do that! Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Even though it's only like my second video. Anyways, so yeah. I'm just going to be going over some of my favorite and least favorite food combinations. Also, keep in mind half of these technically aren't food combos. But that's fine. Also, if you clicked on this video thinking that it's for combos that you want to try at home, yeah, this isn't the right video for that. Actually, maybe it is. You technically could try these combs at home, because they are pretty easy to make. But yeah, for a few of these, I definitely wouldn't recommend making them. Anyways, get your chef hats on, and whatever else the chef uses, I guess. Anyways, let's jump right into it. Number one. So, merits. Before I tell you if this is a good or bad combo, and how to make it yourself, I'll just tell you the story behind it. So one day I was hanging out with my friend, who we can just call Horman for this video, and I was at his house, and we were playing on his PS3 or something, and his mom brought us some carrots and ranch. No, not that kind of ranch, the other kind, you know? The sauce kind? Yeah, that. Anyways, so I tried some of the ranch, and it was pretty good. So when I went home later, I asked my mom, Can we buy some ranch? And my mom said we could buy it next time that we go shopping. But you see, the problem was we just went shopping like yesterday. This meant I had to wait another whole week. I can't wait that long. Time is money or something, right? I mean, I don't know, but like, I'm pretty sure it is. Anyways, let's get back to the story. So I was pretty bummed that I would have to wait like another week. But then I remembered something. You see, my school had this food line where you could buy a hot lunch and stuff like that. The lunch wasn't exactly free, but at the end of the line, there was this seasoning bar sort of thing, which had ketchup packets, forks, and stuff like that. And, like, the hundreds of times that I've walked past that line, I also remember seeing this white packet that was there. So, my big brain pieced the puzzles together, and... Mom, can you just give me some carrots? I'm pretty sure the school gives away free ranch. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was only for people who bought the hot lunch, but who cares? It's not like they have security guards or something guarding the sauce station. Or maybe they do, and my memory's just terrible. So, next day, I just went down to lunch, and I grabbed a seat with a different friend this time. Let's just call him Jay. Anyways, I got a spot, and then I went around the lunch line to the end, and then took a handful of sauce, and then ran away hoping I didn't get in trouble for stealing. I mean, no one was probably gonna care if I stole a few sauce packets. And maybe the lunch lady even saw a sixth grader just sneakily take some packets and then run away and didn't even blink an eye. But this was in sixth grade, okay? I was worried I would get in like detention or like get put in jail or something for that. Anyways, I took that piece of criminating evidence and then ran back to my spot. <sighs> hey, jump buddy pal, amigo buddy pal, how's it going? I definitely did not just commit a felony or something right now. What's that in your hand? Oh, this, uh, this is just some ranch, see? It says mayo here. Ah, so it does. Yeah, so in my hurry, I had picked up the mayo instead of ranch. And I wasn't gonna risk my life going back and stealing another packet. Anyways, back to the story. So you wanted to dip your carrots in the ranch, right? Yep. And you picked up some mayo by accident? Yep. So how about if you, uh, dip the carrots in mayo instead? Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Now, you know those videos which are like top 10 moments before disasters or something. Yeah, you could just make a video called top 10 famous last words and then go ahead and put the slip in second place. First place goes to that German art dude who was like, sorry man, you didn't get accepted into the art college. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just get back to the story. Also, if you're squeamish, or just say breakfast or something, I recommend skipping the next few seconds. So I squirted some mayo onto a carrot, and then put it into my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I ended up barfing in the trash can. And if you think that's a joke, no, I literally just put it in my mouth and frickin' ran over to the trash and puked in it. It tasted so terrible, I couldn't even control it. After I started walking back to my friend, but then the aftertaste kicked in. 
and this was just as terrible as the first day. So this time I ran, then peeked in the toilet instead. And you may think that's the end, but it's not. You see, I went back to my friend and he said, It can't have been that bad, you know, you're probably just overreacting. Well then why don't you try it? Okay. Yeah, even my friend ended up throwing up. So all in all, a happy ending, I guess. I also learned this later, but I heard somewhere that mayo is actually just made of eggs. And I don't know if you guys knew that, but I sure didn't. So I was technically just eating egg whites and carrots. No wonder it tasted so disgusting. Anyways, I would rate this combo 1 out of 10, would not recommend. Also, if you're enjoying this video up till now, please consider subscribing. It's free and really motivates me to keep on making these videos. Also, leave down a comment and I will try to reply to as many of them as possible. Anyways, let's just keep moving on. Number 2. Kachitos. Yeah, so this is basically just a short form of ketchup plus Cheetos. And believe it or not, it's made by combining ketchup and Cheetos. The more you know. The story for this also takes place in school, like the last one, but this time it's in 4th slash 5th grade. I don't exactly remember which. So almost every day in elementary school, my mom gave me some sort of lunch that was easy to put together. Mainly, this just included roti and sauce. According to Google Translate, roti means bread. Which definitely isn't the correct translation. But on the flip side, I'm too lazy to actually describe it. So we're just gonna call it bread. Now, this may sound like a really weird combo to you guys. And well, that that's because it was, but that's not the point. In fact, now that I think back, was that just lazy parenting? I don't know, probably. Anyways, along with this, I also got some sort of snack daily. Something like pudding or pizza or something along those lines. Mainly, it was just Cheetos. Now, I could probably just make an entire video out of talking about Cheetos. But we don't have the time for that, okay? So I'll just quickly summarize my opinion. Puffy Cheetos are better than normal ones. Now, this is actually relevant. Since you ever try to make Cheetos at home, I definitely recommend using the Puffy Cheetos since those taste way better than normal ones. This is since when you add sauce to the crunchy ones, they just taste the exact same as before. Which sort of just like ruins the entire concept of a food combo since you're not even tasting the other food. So when I finished my like, you know, usual five star food, I noticed that extra sauce left over, which I hadn't used while eating the roti. And I still hadn't finished my Cheetos yet since it's a basic rule of the wild that you eat the best stuff last. So you can probably see where this is going. Now, I don't know what happened next, but it's probably one of these three possibilities. Number one, I just dipped the Cheetos in the sauce, wondering how it would taste. Number two, the Cheetos accidentally fell in the ketchup, and then I tried it, and it tastes really good. Or number three, my far superior than average intelligence at that very moment unlocked all the secrets of the universe, and thus I discovered the combo. I don't know about you guys, but I'm leaning towards the third option. Anyway, so I dipped the Cheetos in the ketchup, and it tasted freaking good. Now, I don't want to sound like one of those people who put ketchup on literally anything, but I still have no idea how just adding ketchup to Cheetos improved the flavor so much. I also gave some to Jay, who was sitting with me at the time, and even he liked it. In fact, later when I went to his birthday party, he had some packets of Cheetos, and, well, you know what happened next. He actually also had some spicy Cheetos as well, and I tried some of it, and it was not that good, but he said it was good, so I guess it just varies on your taste. And just to clarify things up, you can do this with any cheese puff that you have, not just Cheetos. And just so you don't get the wrong idea, Cheetos is not sponsoring this or anything. Which shouldn't exactly come as a surprise, cause as at the time of making this video, I only have 9 subscribers. Again, just consider subscribing. But hey, if any Cheetos employees are watching, heh. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly refuse that sort of deal, you know? Dude, I just work here. Haha, <laughs> sure, nudge nudge, wink wink. I don't get paid enough for this. Does that mean I get this for free? Anyways, welcome to the end cards. I was actually going to include two more combos in this video, 
But seeing as two combos themselves took up around 9 minutes, I'll probably just include the other ones in a future episode. But don't quote me on that. Anyways, make sure you leave a comment if you like this video. And that, yeah, that's it.